Many times in your business situation, you may want to create some automated workflow to make sure that all your incoming emails are saved to some SharePoint folder as files. It could be all the emails or it could be some important emails from some customers uh, depending on your situation, but it's a very common scenario. The, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how to do that using Power Automate or Flow. So uh, for the setup, for example, here's a SharePoint site and this is my test email account. Let's say any email that comes to my email account, the body of that email is filed or you can call it archival or whatever filed as a file here in the SharePoint so that all those people who have access here, they can see those emails which are important ones. So I may not want to do it for all, but at least for some customers which might be important. Uh, and also uh, at some point I might want to get rid of those emails from my inbox and still have the copy here. So those could be the motivations for doing it. For creating this flow, it's a very simple flow. Uh, here's flow.microsoft.com and uh, I'm just going to create one automated cloud flows because automated because we want this to be automatically triggered whenever a new email arrives. I'll skip this and do it from scratch so that you can see how it works. So all right, so what's my trigger? Trigger in this case is email as the new email arrives. So you see as a new email, when a new email arrives, V3 for my Office 365 Outlook, uh, I'm not going to choose any other option, just it comes in inbox make sure i select the right one yeah okay new step so all you have to do is say export so essentially what you're doing is you're exporting the email so the body of the email for example let's say this email the body of this will be exported and that that is the file content that you will save in the sharepoint so what is the input for this it expects something called message id and what is the message ID? So message ID is going to be the message ID of the email that arrived. So I'll look at when a new mail arrives and the information from here and I see one message ID and that's all. Now, last step is now we have the, yeah. So now at the end of this step, we have the content of the file. We need to just create that file in SharePoint. It could be, one drive or somewhere else also but for this video i'm going to do it in sharepoint so create file like i said you could have chosen one drive but i'm choosing sharepoint in this case and it's very simple which sharepoint so um this is my sharepoint path what's the folder you can pick any folder that you have for your requirement i'm picking shared documents and what file name. So in this case, let me say email.msg, just to keep it simple. Now there's one problem with this approach, which I'll talk about later in this video. And in a subsequent video, I'll also tell you how to fix that problem. But to start simple, let's put some fixed name email.msg. And that's always a good way to try out any new scenario for start simple get some basic stuff working and then fix the problem one by one. Okay, so what's the file content? File content should be the output of this export email. So look at not this attachment, this attachment by the way is different. This is the list of all the attachments that you have in the email, but we don't want that. We want the actual body of the email. So select the body of the email and that's all you have to do. Now it creates a file with this file name and this is the content of that file and save it. So at the end of this, your flow is ready and you can test it. I'll click on test. Uh, I have to test. I always get confused between manually and automatically. It's manually here because I have to send an email in my inbox to trigger it. Um, for automatic, I had to select some previous run, which I don't have now. All right, to be honest, these names are confusing, but whatever. Okay, so clicked on 
that and now let's send a test email to from my own test account to myself so let's create a new message and I will say to the same test email by the way this is my test email don't send me email at this account because I'm not reading it's only for testing okay so test email for saving uh, test email body for saving and that should be it so what we expect is this content of the email body gets saved as a file we send this let's go back to a flow and see what happens okay so uh, my browser loaded and this flow is done let's see what happens so the new email arrived okay so that action got triggered export email and we got the output as the body of the email and all we had to do is create the file so let's go back to a SharePoint site and you see that this email body has been created as a file here and let's look at what happens there when I open it and this is an email format and you see uh, the email body is sh saved in a standard format so that's all it is to this now there's one problem with this approach like I mentioned earlier so let's see what happens so let's see I delete these emails and try sending this email again and see what happens so when I try sending another email another test another test body and send it so what do you think will happen in this case so we got the email what do you think will happen in this case uh, let's see uh, as you can see this failed so let's open and understand what happened why why do you think it failed you see the error message here so it detected that the new email arrived it exported but in the create file step it failed why because it says that file with the same name shared document email message so that means in this SharePoint folder we already have a file of this name so it cannot create a new one so if you examine our flow structure that we designed we said that look export this and create a file and we gave email.msg as the file name so first time it works fine but next time when you get the email no matter which email because we are always using the same file name it has conflict issue and because of that it fails so how do you fix that uh, take some time to think about it I'll give you some simple way to fix that problem because it's a very common scenario where you will want to save multiple emails so you cannot have a fixed name so think about some ways you can fix that problem and if you can't solve that stay tuned to my next video and I'll explain you how to do that thank you this video was brought to you by Cloud Attica if you like our videos please like share and subscribe for any questions or help leave a comment down below or email us at hello at cloudattica.com. Thank you for watching.